it really never ceases to amaze me or horrify me, better said, as someone who talks about politics as my job, right? So I can look at other people who do that and relate to the position they're in, in what you do preparing to go and speak on the air or, or record a segment and the different things that you do, fact checking and researching and checking with your morals, making sure that what you're going to deliver is accurate and honest or other people do it clearly a very different way. And so I'll think what on earth is Fox News going to say about something that's undeniably bad that comes out about Trump? Because if something undeniably bad comes out about Kamala Harris, as someone who does a similar job very differently as Brian Kilman, who we're going to talk about in this segment, I'd come on the show and tell you this thing's bad. But I know they don't do that. So then I'm blown away every time by their willingness to defend anything. The big news in the last few hours has been the story, as we reviewed in different segment, about General John Kelly, Trump's longest serving former chief of staff. And specifically, more reporting and now audio of Kelly talking about this, of Trump's... Uh, Gotta be mindful of my language. Mac is really freaking out over this. His wishing for generals like Hitler had. I want them to be loyal to me like they were to Hitler, even though they tried to kill him. And Hitler did some good things, Trump said, according to Kelly. Kelly again reiterates that, yes, the suckers and losers comment was made by Trump referring to fallen soldiers. And all the other things we talked about in the other segment. So there's no way to defend that, right? Wrong, apparently. And here is Brian Kilmeade doing so in a way that I think he's realizing as he's saying it, this is so bad, I don't think this helps Trump's case. But the bottom line is, if you read H.R. McMaster's book, who is critical of President uh, Trump in some of it and not in others, he talks about how Madison Kelly didn't like the president and they didn't think he deserved the job or they didn't think he was worthy of the job. And they went out of his way to make sure a lot of things they asked him to do that they didn't like never got done. McMaster would be frustrated because he couldn't get their attention. And he would say, it's not your job to reign in the president. It's your job to do what the president wants. And then you factor in the fact that he runs his own company coming from the business world, the first one we've ever had. It's not even a public company. And then he obviously has frustration. And I could absolutely see him going out, you know, what? It would be great to have German generals that actually do what we ask them to do, knowing that's a third, uh, maybe not fully, un, uh, fully being cognizant of the third rail of German generals who are Nazis and whatever. But he was frustrated. <laughs> oh, no. No, Brian. No, no, no. <laughs> Before playing more. Oh, gosh. You can tell he starts going, uh, this is, I should have just gone, it's fake news because this is actually hurting Trump more. I totally could have seen, this is totally what I know about Trump. He'd definitely say, I wish I had German generals like Hitler. I mean, but like the, but like the good, German, like the, um, excuse me, um, I, I didn't know about the Nazi thing to be clear. So I'm just saying like the, the other, um, oh shoot. How about Brian, you, you, you feel back behind you, you find your spine and you denounce this like any normal, rational adult would be willing to do. Or you explain, Brian, what were those great things that Hitler was doing that Trump was referring to? By the way, last thing before playing more of this, Fox News has a much larger audience, as horrifying as this is to think about, than I think almost any other platform outlet so <laughs> yes i'm transitioning into this if you want to support not that and you think this is a better way to get information to talk about politics please do click the subscribe button become part of the beasley brigade as it's called uh by just clicking the subscribe button if you haven't already and we're so close to 1 million subscribers trying to get there by the election thank you so much to each and every one of you then with the with the slowdown of 
was uh, it, 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 was, it wasn't just a slowdown. It was insubordination. And there is a culture within Washington, not just when it comes to the generals, who, by the way, should be fired after what happened and in Afghanistan, is yeah. of insubordination in the sense that the bureaucrats run the government. The founders did not design this country to be that way. Unelected people don't get to run the country, even if you have four stars behind your name. And I think they were very frustrated that you had this outside guy that says, listen, I'm in charge yeah. now. But let me play this part one more time, okay? And I could absolutely see him going out. You know what? It would be great to have German generals that actually do what we asked them to do, knowing that's a third, uh, maybe not fully, uh, fully being cognizant of the third rail of German generals who were Nazis and whatever. But he was frustrated with the, with the slowdown of... It's not the third rail. It's not that, oh, no one wants to talk about Social Security and Medicare and how we make them viable... It's the Third Reich, Brian. Please. What it I I'm so happy that his nervousness came through for a moment. Not not realizing the Oh no, why am I here? Why am I here? I'm defending the comment of Trump saying I wish I had Hitler's generals. Which again can we keep focusing on the fact that it's it's Trump embodied, both saying, gosh, Hitler had it so good with his generals, I want that. Bad, because of the Hitler thing. And then second, not understanding historically that not being accurate in terms of Hitler having super loyal people around him. And so then MAGA might go, well, John Kelly, John Smelly, who cares? He's lying. It's not like anyone else says stuff about Trump that worked with him to this effect. Here's his Homeland Security, a former Homeland Security official, Kevin Carroll. He's really admires Hitler. I mean, he, he frequently uh, said to senior staff, uh, why don't my generals support me the way that Hitler's generals su supported him? Uh, and of course, uh, Hitler's generals, for the most part, did not support him. They tried to assassinate him uh, se several times. But uh, just the, the fact that the president would think of himself, the fact that President Trump would think of himself uh, in the same sentence as Hitler is a terrifying thing. The, the, the man quotes Hitler. I mean, you have phrases like poisoning the blood of the country and, and enemies of the people. Those are things said by Hitler and, and Stalin uh, as well. And it's not as if he's accidentally quoting them. When it's brought to his attention, sir, you, you just quoted Hitler. <laughs> you just quoted Stalin or Lenin. He doesn't mind. He says it again. He's really... And if you can, you know, you knew this is where it was going. But in response to a clip that I'll show you of Vice President Kamala Harris, Marjorie Taylor Greene said... Vice President Kamala Harris is desperate, dangerous, and lying about President Trump. Kamala Harris just compared him to Hitler. She's going to get him killed. What? I just said in a different segment I wasn't going to let the reactions to this news from MAGA ruin my day. So I'll try my best not to let it. But what? are you talking about we're not comparing him to hitler like just pulling something out of our butt going hey let's talk about hitler we're going oh my gosh right before an election trump's longest serving chief of staff found it notable to again express to the american people trump's fascination with current authoritarians around the world, and historical figures. He values himself and loyalty of those around him to him above everything, which is why Mark Milley said at his retirement ceremony that he had to specify, we don't take an oath, members of the military. I'm not using we, what do you mean that? But he said this, we don't take an oath to a king or a queen, or a dictator. And then he put in this curious phrase, or a wannabe dictator, talking about Trump. We take an oath to the Constitution. But the Fox News reaction is, well, maybe they were 
engaging in insubordination, and uh, we can't have any of that. So if you think about it, Hitler it up, baby. Unbelievable. And let's see. At least some of this clip is three minutes a little long, but we'll play at least the beginning of it. Let's see if Kamala Harris is lying, as Marge Hilly Green said. So yesterday we learned that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally, one that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. In just the past week, Donald Trump has repeatedly called his fellow Americans the enemy from within and even said that he would use the United States military to go after American citizens. What is she lying about there, Marjorie? Nothing. It was tragic and terrible that two people now have attempted to take Trump's life because that is not, that is not how we settle political differences. We protect our democracy from Trump through democracy. Otherwise, it's a complete violation of the very principles that we're here advocating on behalf of. And it can also be true Parallel to that, that this reporting's accurate and it should be very concerning to us. Deranged people doing deranged things and Trump not being as protected as he should have been in at least for sure the first one does not all of a sudden make it rational for us to ignore disturbing details like this. And let me close this segment with the Mark Milley video again, because I think it's powerful seeing it come from him and not, not this. Uh, so let me instead pull it up, Mark Milley. Because this is the person, this is the face, this is the soldier who MAGA is saying is just woke and has Trump derangement syndrome. To a country. We don't take an oath to a tribe. We don't take an oath to a religion. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen, or a tyrant, or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. We don't take an oath to an individual. We take an oath to the Constitution, and we take an oath to the idea that it's America, and we're willing to die to protect it. Every soldier, sailor, airman, marine, guardian, and coast guardsman, each of us commits our very life to protect and defend that document, regardless a personal price. Why does Trump say, as he did in a recent interview, that he doesn't respect as soldiers Mark Milley and he cited someone else? Because he doesn't respect that. He doesn't comprehend. John Kelly pointed that, that Trump could not get his head around, which is why during rants he would refer to people as suckers and, and losers for losing their life for the country because he would say, what's in it for them? What was in it for them? He doesn't respect the idea of doing something for anything other than yourself. He thinks if you're doing something that's not in direct service of yourself, you're a sucker. It's a waste. And that is something that, yes, is super disrespectful to people who serve in our military and is disrespectful to so many people who in some capacity in their life dedicate themselves to something beyond themselves, whether it's helping people out in their community, whether it's helping the impoverished, whether it's advocating for change, taking care of an elderly relative, volunteering at a food bank, and yes, serving in the military, working as a nurse, teaching the next generation. Anything that has a, a little bit of it that's not just about you, 
means you're a sucker in Trump's eyes. But everything he took advantage of, the country that gave him the very opportunities that led to the success, if you want to define it as that in business and then in politics, that he's been afforded, were because of the thousands and millions of people who have died for the ideas Mark Milley's talking about. And MAGA, who used to proclaim to care about that patriotic view of what we're all advocating for, spit on the service of Milley, of Kelly, of anyone who dares to say they're more loyal to the Constitution than Donald Trump. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Support the show. Get the members-only bonus show. Become a premium member of the Beasley Brigade by clicking the join button below.